Hey, Melody, it's great to see you. Thanks for having me. Uh, of course, I'm excited. So I think we're gonna start off by just having you tell us your story. Well, I'm the CEO and founder of Style Seat, which is the largest destination to discover, book, and pay for beauty appointments. We're kind of like open table for salons and spas. If you asked me 10 years ago, are you gonna be a leader? I wouldn't have jumped out and said yes. Um, but I wanted to build something, and to do that, you need to have an amazing team. And I love working with my team every day. I've built a team of people that I love to spend time with. And I want them to love what they do because the difference between kind of liking what you do and spending time versus loving what you do every day and putting your best um, work that you can possibly give, there's such a difference in that. I learned confidence by just doing it. Mm -hmm. by, before I'd walk into your room, I'd be like, I don't know how the, I'm gonna get through this, I have no idea. And then you just do it over and over. And over time, that fear eventually leaves you. What does it mean to lead an unlimited life? For me, leading an unlimited life means building my life around something that I'm incredibly passionate about. It means surrounding myself with people that inspire me to be better every day. And I think it also means learning as much as I possibly can every day. So what do you think the relationship is between leadership and joy? Like, how do you find joy in leadership? I find joy in leadership by doing what I love. You know, work is incredibly hard. Working every day and putting it all out there every single day takes a lot of energy, and so you have to love what you do because people can tell. If I asked your team mm -hmm. or your parents, what would they say is the secret to your success? It was a lot of hard work and no perks for a very long time. But, you know, slowly as it started to work and we started to get bigger, you know, that hard work ended up paying off. I will do any job at the company. I will be the janitor, I will clean the kitchen, any project, it doesn't matter how dirty um, or unglamorous or annoying, you know, I'm happy to jump in and do that. I think that people see that and that means a lot to them. When you're really passionate, they also become really passionate and, and vice versa, right? You feed off of each other. So, uh, you know, you work in the beauty industry, I work in the mm -hmm. beauty and fashion industry as well. Um, how, you know, how important is it to <laughs> how important is how you dress and how does that help you win the day? Does I mean, it? Fashion's a big deal at our office. Mm -hmm. It's not a typical startup. So I'll wear anything. I'll wear ripped jeans and crazy heels one day. I'll wear a dress, an amazing skirt another day. I like to really change it up. Mm -hmm. You gotta keep them guessing. But when on a day when you wanna kill it, crush it, <laughs> win it, do you have a uniform? Do you have a go-to kind of style mantra on that day? You know, the way what I wear so deeply affects how I feel and my power outfit can actually change. You know, one day it can be a pencil skirt and amazing blouse. Another day it can just be a blowout and whatever I wear doesn't matter. It really depends on how you want to feel and what makes you feel good because when you walk into a room feeling amazing, the work that you do is so much better. So as you know, we are with this campaign supporting a tremendous organization called Girls Leadership, which is really all about teaching girls who they are, what they believe in, and how to express it. If you had any advice to give to young girls, what would it be? Learn all the time, be curious, learn who you are and pursue that. Um, that's something that's very beautiful and who you are, no matter how that breaks down, is beautiful. And surround yourself with people that you love and who inspire you to be better.